unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad. Man, we got a blessing today in here, y'all. Somebody who I've been trying to get on this show ever since I started this damn show. Uh, she is beautiful. She is uh, talented. She's one of the ones that I look at as one of the ones that I call staples in the whole Dallas area. Uh, the South, you know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I, I got this little chart I keep, and I, it's certain ones I'd be like, we better than everybody because of this one. And she wanted them ones, man. I appreciate Since that. Molly is in the building. I appreciate that, big dog, for sure. Niggas don't be respecting me. So. Man, please, these niggas in trouble. I'm here now. I don't be giving a fuck. Why you think that? Yeah. Why you think? Why you think they don't respect you? Oh, I mean, like you know, they respect you behind doors. Like they don't like to do that shit. And well, we gonna kick the door down. You know? Oh, yeah, it's yeah. been open. It's you know? over. <laughs> it's up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you one of them ones that I, I always think about, like, how did you manage to make it happen, you know? You're from Arlington. Yeah. How did you manage to make it happen? Like, it's a lot of people want to be in your spot. Um. Well, like, let's say I started off as sneaks on Molly. I had a lot of sneakers, and I was just trading shoes and shit, buying shoes. All of that shit. So people in Arlington knew who I was, and I was at parties and all that shit. But then um, I turned 18. I danced for a year, and then I got paid for my first feature. It was $1,000, and I was like, shit, I ain't finna dance, because if you can pay me to rap, you ain't finna come to the club and see me dance. Like, shit, I'm finna get paid to rap. You danced for a year. Um, Do you mind telling me where? V-Live. You was at V-Live? With ASAP Rocks in here. My, <laughs> my, my, my nigga down there. You feel me? Rock, Rocks are down at that hole. I don't care if ain't uh, nobody there. Yeah, no, I danced for a year. And it's like, that ain't even what I wanted to do. But my, my Quick ex. money. Yeah, no, like, no, my ex's sister stayed with me. And she was like, she danced. And her friend was too scared to dance with her. So she came home and told me. I was like, well, shit, I just turned 18. I'm broke. I'll go with you. Went to the club. First time I went there, I made $1,000. I was like, shit. What did you shit. think about, like, your first time doing it? Because I, I know y'all start off, because I've been there when they start, and it really don't be good. They're trying to learn the tricks. It well, take shit. them a little while to get into the mode of learning the tricks. Well, look, you know, like, females there, they already got their ass done, titties done, like, wigs, lace fronts, all that shit. I'm fresh out of, like, well, I ain't graduate, but I'm fresh out of school, basically. I'm 18, just turned 18. I'm natural bun on top of my head like mm-hmm. shit normal so I'm walking in like well we gonna see if they fuck with me <laughs> <laughs> so like like yeah cause everybody had the fake boobs the fake butts and everything yeah, is working when, yeah when I walked in they was fucking with me so I was like yeah cause you fe- got a body but, on fe- you but females never fuck like, they don't they, post to they, yeah you know like it's fake love in there so right. it was just like a learning experience but so did you did you it was cool you get into a fight be honest hell no nah. you ain't oh, fight nobody hell no nah. that's the thing these uh, they needed to be there like that was they shit like you know like they did this shit that's their money like they need this shit they got kids they got me I'm really just in this home making free profit like I'm just mm-hmm. like fuck it I'm on my I'm on finding my journey I'm finding my route like so this some money coming in like here I got a thousand this day a thousand next day I'm up four bands like shit I'm 18 nobody got that right now like from Arlington you know like Correct. I'm just like Shit, and then I was around the studios and shit. And I was like, "All right, I'm rapping." I and started you met a lot of entertainers who come in too. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. So it was a good but, networking place. But I had already like twenty thousand followers type shit. Okay. Yeah, they be cute. <laughs> so they no, have followers. I had followers because when I was young, I used to. Take oh, the sneakers. That, that too, too. But I used to take pictures with guns and shit. And oh, like, you a killer? B- no, <laughs> no. I used to take pictures with guns and like blunts and just stuff like that, and it just went viral. Really? So it was. And now they'll take you. They'll take down your whole page for stuff like that. Yeah. Early on, they let you get away with some stuff. How many stuff? pages have you lost? None. And None? we're not gonna lose any because she I do respect, right. I respect Instagram, and when they do okay. send me something, she read like, it. Yeah, when they send me something, I, I like they be like, we can review it. I'm gonna definitely send it back to you to review because I'm gonna be like, well, I didn't mean this. You yeah, because I don't like you know like I've had it's my business Instagram, right. I, I've had my Instagram for twelve. I mean for ten years. Yeah, yeah that's good because a lot of people be Instagram be getting snatched. And it's like at a point in time, I was all about Instagram. Like I was so fucked up about Instagram. 
how but yeah, explain, on, but, 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 explain but, but, no 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 but before we get back into that i wanted to ask a question about the strip club okay, so okay. what was the worst case that you've ever had at the strip club what whatever happened that you was like man i can't stand it whether it be a guy who came in or it's like when you said that i automatically thought about a good time that's right <laughs> like, we were kicking it she, i don't know i just prayed about positivity last night so i don't really know but I ain't really have no bad times. I was always okay, just, uh, like I told you, like, I was there just there. Because, you know, you have weird, I was in weird my people own, who I come was, in, though. Yeah, and me, I was always just like, nigga, quit playing with me. Oh, like, okay. I never liked people. Like, I was, I didn't want to talk. I ain't want to do nothing. I was just like, here's your little dance. Throw your money. Come on by. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody yeah. that tried to do too much, talk too much, touch too much, nah, leave me alone. I'm out of how, there. How frustrating was uh, Tip out? Oh uh, yeah, that shit was bro. Some nights, bro. Let me tell y'all. That's, let me tell y'all. Some nights I walk in, they talking about. Oh, you get started. A hundred dollar tip. Out. I'm like, there ain't even two people in here. What you mean? Like, that's the one, man. So it doesn't depend on how many people in there. It's just no. it's just like some like Mondays is this, uh, you know, like it's so dead. one night, one night the tip out was like two hundred, bro. Nobody was making money. I walked in, I was like, do you just leave? Hell Can you no, just? I walked out there. I just was walking around. Boom, some Africans was like, come here. <laughs> and then so I walked over there. I started dancing for them. And then other girls tried to come over there, right? They were like, no, no, no. Then they threw like four bands on me and just me. And oh, like they told everybody. It. And I was like, they said, do you know why we chose you? And I was like, no. They were like, because you're natural. Hey, <laughs> that's I, what I'm talking and about. And I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, Man, that's dope. But like at 18, I'm like in the club. It's, it's You got to have a really strong mind not to give in to like, like I said, I've been on Instagram for 10 years, so I've been around a lot of folks, like a lot of scenarios, yeah. a lot of places, parties, like yeah. people, like everything. So you got to have a real strong mind not to give in. Like, ain't shit wrong with whatever people do for themselves, but just to not be like, all right, fuck it, I need this shit. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I I definitely, um, your boy was on here the other day, Mr. Hit That. He was on here. He just left off him over here. And I always think about my guys, Jack Frost, a Go DJ Fresh. We all, I done been in them strip clubs in that dang DJ yeah, booth. Yeah, fucked with me. Yeah, that's yeah, that's my, he he was he started off here as a kid though. He been coming here all his life. <laughs> we was selling him designer when yeah, he was, I was a kid when he was when, doing um, he was doing the, the dance kid, and yeah, all that. I was that. a kid when I seen him go viral. Yeah. Like, so when I got older, and I'm in a club working with him. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? I was like, she's so weird. Like when I was eight years old, I did not expect this. Like, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. But anyway, we jumped the gun a lot with what I, how I we started. So I wanted to ask about that. Uh, what was it? It was something that you jumped me. I knew I wasn't gonna forget, remember. It. I knew it. It was something about the Instagram or something. Yeah. Uh, you you the lady here. I can't <laughs> say nothing. Um, no, but we want to go back. We always like to go back. When you were younger, when you were a kid, you know, growing up in Arlington, did you have any siblings? Were you raised with your mom and dad? Stuff like that. Um, I got two grown brothers. They fully white. We got the same mama, but like they fully white. That's yeah, dope. But them, them my niggas. So your mama white. Yeah, and your my daddy mama black. white. My daddy black. Okay. Hun Brooke, mama white. <laughs> so you Damn. know I can rap. The fuck. <laughs> 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 nah, um, nah, so did I just turn? Oh, I thought I turned my shit off. But, um, brothers, I got two brothers. They grown 37, 35. Um, so, on your daddy's side, you don't have any? I'm his only child. Wow. Um, I grew up with both my parents. We never, like, lived together, like, for real, for real. But it's always been love. Like, we all cool. They not together now. They got their own shit going on. But my mom can come stay with us when she in town, if she needs to, you know, like, mm -hmm. or whatever the fuck going on. Oh, it's you still me. stay with your dad? He stay with me. Oh, he moved with you. Yeah. Look out for him. Yeah. That's I hope cool. my. You hear that, boy? <laughs> Hell, I hope somebody look out for me <laughs> if I ever need. Finna go big house, all that shit. Already. You so know? you have a close relationship with your dad then? That's my best friend. Like That's good. He finna control all my shit. That's yeah. dope, man. Yeah. That's dope because you trust him. Yeah, he just finna, like, I've been teaching him shit, like, here and there and doing all this and just little shit because. He went to college, got... Oh, you telling me that your dad is going to help you deal with your estate? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, like, I, I mean, I don't... Beyonce tried that. Be careful. You, nah. <laughs> nah. See, that's the thing. Like, my, my dad, he, he done taught me some shit that's... I don't know. but You trust him. What's the most important thing that he's taught you? Shit. I don't even know. It's so much shit. I'm talking about 
be you, keep hustling, shit. Never let people know like when you just fucked up, you know? Yeah. That's what they pray for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that, man. I when, love to see that. When did you realize you, you had the talent to rap? Okay, well, with that being said, like in elementary school, I've always had a sense for like music and shit, but I didn't want to do choir. I couldn't sing. They don't want to do band because I didn't want to play one of them instruments. Like, I'm like, shit, but what can I do? Like, rapping ain't real. I ain't Jay Z. Like, you know, like, I ain't Beyonce. I ain't, you know, I ain't Fergie. Like, you know, like, I ain't. I'm thinking, I'm watching these people on TV when they songs come on in the morning. I'm like, that can't be me. They already famous, you know, like. So, um, my brother was a rapper. Like when okay. I was a kid. His the name was white A one. His name was A one. Yes, and he could actually rap. He was in like, Arlington? Yeah. A one. I'm trying to think back. Like this nigga probably went hard. And yeah, you said they're older than you. How much older? He are said thirty seven. I think she yeah, said like, one was thirty seven. Uh, that's like 10 like 15, years. 15, yeah. 15, 15 okay. and 13. Yeah. Okay. 15 years apart and 13 years apart. I'm 23. Mm -hmm. I just turned 23. I know. You're the baby baby. But yeah, you know, I'm still figuring shit out. You know, I'm blessed though. Highly blessed. Yes. Highly favored. Um, what was I saying? So oh, yeah, he, he raps. raps. So, like, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, well, he can go to a studio and find a microphone. So, like, as I get older, I'm like, I guess it's possible, you know? Like, then I start seeing people who rapping and shit. So, my 18th birthday, we were just playing. I turned on some Detroit. I said Detroit. <laughs> oh my Detroit um style type beats and um I'm just rapping freestyling just doing whatever doing whatever I'm like shit what if I did this for real yeah I grabbed a notebook I got a whole I still got it to this day the same notebook just I don't write no more but like at that time that's all I could do I didn't have a studio so I was mm -hmm. just like well if I write songs like something you know like I'm gonna find a studio I'm gonna find a microphone Boom, started writing all that shit, then find, found the studio, started recording, recording my first song, and niggas was like, you gotta keep going. You can be a star. I'm like, I, I know, but like, I don't know. You know? Nah, you dope, man. And then, and oh, I know, I know now, but like, now it, I, it took time know, to build that like, confidence. Yeah, the first time, because normally a lot of people always say the first time they hear themselves after it's mixed and mastered. I was in the, I was in the studio like this, scared to rap, my voice was just cracking. <laughs> I, was just, I was like, <laughs> they were like, just relax. I'm like, all right, whew. And then, like, I did a little bit, but you can still hear, like, in my voice, like, I was scared, you know? And then when people were in the studio, I was scared to rap. I don't know why I was just scared to do me. And then they had to come to a point where I was like, nigga, they fuck with me. They're here because of me. Like, why am I caring what y'all, what, what I sound like? I done mm -hmm. been around in the studio, bro. One person I was in the studio with was Lil Key. Rest in peace to him. But... Like his songs go crazy, you know. But when he's recording and you're sat, you're listening, like you wonder what this finna sound like, you know. Like it's like. But me at the time, I was like, it gotta sound perfect when I'm recording the mic because they're listening to me, you know. But, I, but I it, you didn't know that it yeah, doesn't have to at that time. At, yeah, at that time I didn't until like I got around people and I was like, okay, this just rap. Like I got a song mm -hmm. with Pablo Juan. He went in the studio. He did a verse, he just saying random shit that rhyme in a sentence. You know, like the end bars might be harder, like the first bar might be hard. He just saying random shit. It sounds crazy. And then um at the end of the shit, he'll go he'll go back in and be like, All right, delete this and he'll replace the stupid word with like a real word, you know? Somebody else I know that they came you know? on and that, that's what they do. So I was like just seeing people do different theories and shit, I'm like, shit ain't gonna be perfect when you're saying it. Mm hmm Man. You gotta find your own rhythm and you gotta find what works for you. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. So, um, so after, so when, how old were you when you, when you would say that you found your confidence? Um, how long did it take you? Like, ooh, my voice cracked. Like complete confidence, 22, yeah. last year. What made you find your confidence so late? Uh, like, you know, I've always known I'm that bitch. Like, right. I've always known that but shit. But in rap. But, no, nah, oh, rap, I knew, I, I knew for sure I, I had that shit in like 2018. Like, okay. I knew that for sure I know that shit now just because it's a lot of shit that I done influence. Mm -hmm. Regardless if people see it or not, I see it. And a lot, I, people see it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, confidence all around was age 22 just because I done experienced so much shit and um, been around so many people, seen so many things. It had me realize like, I done seen so many different paths, so many different lanes. So I'm seeing where different people are and I'm like, what they experience and shit. I'm like, well, where the fuck is my, like, why am I not at the top right here mm -hmm. when I'm doing the same shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, why am I not at the top when I'm doing the same shit? Mm -hmm. Let me just stop. No, no, just chill. Keep going. Keep um, going. Don't no, worry about it. And then it, I just had to come to a point where I'm like, bro, I'm me. Like, I did not live in the moment. 
never knew how to live in a moment. I didn't experience so much shit that I done forgot about because I was so worried about what's next. I got it. It's crazy. And were you the type of person that was always wondering what people think? No, nah, I really ain't never give a fuck what people think. It's because I thought things about myself. Oh, okay. So, so like, you just you know, had to learn how to get pe- out of your own head. Yeah, like other people would be like, you're tripping, da 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 right. And I'd be like, no, I'm not tripping. I don't like this, or I see this. or Get you know, out of your own head. Yeah. Now, now just tell me, I want to know how you and Brooke uh, met. Um, Lil Brooke is my dog. Uh, she been coming on here. She been on here about four times. Uh, <laughs> I bring her on every time. I don't know. God gave me favor with this little girl, and uh, I'll be riding with her. Big Brooke. But I can't yeah. find don't her. Don't put little fun of her name. Listen, I can't find her. Right? I can't find her. She just pops up like when she want to. This is weird, but I always wonder like where she knows is she's Cincy? Always welcome. When I look on my thing and I be looking up stuff about her, you pop up. I be like, where the hell is girl at? Mm-hmm. Boss Talk got to get this girl on here. <laughs> so tell me, how did y'all link? Um, like I said, you know, Sneak on Molly, I knew a lot of people from Arlington and surrounding areas. So um, she had followed me, and then I followed her back. One day I was on live. I was shooting one, my, my first video, and probably 50 people on my live. I'm like, I need somebody to come be in my video tonight. Brooke's like, I'm going to come. So Brooke came. After that, this girl never left my house. <laughs> That's kind of one thing she said. Her mama calling me, talking about, bro, can you make sure she go to school? I'm like, Miss Dusty, I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm trying. <laughs> like, you know? She would leave from your house and go to school. Sometimes. No. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> but, but, but y'all, how did y'all know that y'all, did, was she rapping at that time or no? No, not yet. No, it's just she was around and then one day we were just all, like me and this other girl, we don't, we don't talk to her no more. Um, Ain't no problem, respect, but uh, we don't talk to her no more. We was all just sitting on the bed. We were like, fuck it, let's make a song, three of us. And we wrote a song in the bed. We was just all helping each other come up with bars and our notes and shit, found a beat on YouTube, all that shit. And then um, we shot a video for it, made outfits and everything. (laughs) And then uh, after that, uh, she just started rapping. Damn, wow. and, and and we're good at it. Y'all both was great at yeah, it. Yeah, cause like she was in the studio with us all the time. I was like, bitch, come on. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, come on. And then she just started liking it. She started loving it. I gotta get this story, man. So you guys end up uh, on Def Jam. Yeah. Uh, how does that happen? Is is you gotta gotta your y'all's manager at the time or no? Uh, nah, we had signed, like, we were fucking with Gutter, but, like, he, yeah, he was, he was my manager. Okay. He was my manager, and then, um, shit came about, one day we was on live, had, like, 20 people on live, and one of those 20 people was a fan of us, screen recorded it, um, screen recorded us dancing to 223, and then, screen screen recorded us dancing to 223, and then Brooke woke up, posted it on Twitter, we were, like, a million views. What the fuck? And that was your first million views. Yeah, yeah. It was just a video of us on live dancing. Right. Like, not even dancing. We were just like rapping our song, you know? Mm-hmm. And then so we check our emails. We both get an email from a Def Jam uh, A&R talking about, hey, we seen your video. We like it. Da, da, da. We like, fuck. Next thing you know, we flying out meeting with all the labels. We in New York meeting with everybody. But Def Jam actually like, they spending money on us before we sign. Wow, mm-hmm. that's the that's the determining factor. So is that yeah. why you chose? Them? Hell no, nah. we chose them just because we felt at home with them. Like they wasn't pushing too much, they wasn't doing too much. It just felt good at the time. The only reason why I wasn't good no more is because our original team left. Mm. Oh, our, that's what it was. Yeah, like the team that we had behind us. Well, not even our team. All the teams left. Like everybody. Why did everybody leave them? Dev Jam got a new thing going on, and they okay. just new new roster, new employees. Rosenberg left the CEO he left like you know so it was just not it no more they wanted to they wanted to do a new like venture with me let's I'm gonna use the word venture a new mm-hmm. route with me and we had a zoom call and I was like that's not you I'm like no I'm done like I don't want to be here and they're like what well, I'm like I'm done like, but when you have a contract it. can you just do that no, but that's the thing they broke our contract basically By doing, so yeah. without us making it the long run and Going to court, all that long run shit. Just let me go, right? Let me go. That's cool. Uh, so you you basically you left, but I want to talk about the time that you were there, the budget that they had behind you. Was this a three hundred and sixty deal? They they ain't do you know shit. Was this a three hundred and sixty deal? They ain't do shit that they were supposed to do. First, that's off, what I heard. I, listen, <laughs> listen. So they were. We had a video. You know, we had a song. With Lil Yachty. We have a song with Lil Yachty. The I seen it. I asked about that, yeah. And so we had a video treatment, crazy, everything. But he had a funeral at the time. So 
the video got canceled, like, you mm -hmm. know? And instead of them back doing, like, come on, we got this, come, and said, like, you know, this is a treatment for this video, let's go. They didn't do that. They slowed down. After that shit happened, team left. Now, we're not at the top of the show because at the time, Danny Lay's top of the show. You know, like, that's how a label work. They're not... It's a priority, priority list. Like, you know, just depending on your numbers and shit. Like, you know, and when you do have it's those numbers, they're going to put game. more behind them numbers to make sure they stay high yeah. type shit. You know, and at the time, it was Danny Lay. Like, she was doing her shit. Um, and so we just wasn't, we wasn't so, a priority. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's, it's, in business, it's always a numbers game. Is who producing more, is who and can they, make they them signed, more money. At that time, they signed, like, 15 people. You know, so when everybody left, they didn't know what to do with those 15 people because now those new A&Rs are signing 15 more people. So now it's just like, we got 30 folks in here that we don't even know what to do with. Cause Did anybody here. else leave? With, like, all, um, all the 15 people that you're talking about. We that had, um, yeah, what was it called? Undisputed. I don't know if y'all seen that. Def Jam drop Undisputed. Mm -hmm. And basically, everybody's gone. Let me um, ask you this about um, like Lil Yachty. That had to be big for you guys to find out that he wanted to be on y'all's track like that. And that's See, that's the, I, I asked him to be on it. Okay, that's what I want to know about. How did that happen? I Let's asked get to him it. to be on it. One day I woke up and I was just testing my waters. I woke up took a picture of my arm, you know, a black screen. I'm just like, take a picture. I said, um, at Lil Yachty. Oh, I said, at Lil Yachty, what's up with a feature? And um, 30 seconds in, he swiped up to my story talking about, y'all fire. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, wait. Oh, you went in. I'm like, wait, huh? Like, wait, you really? I'm fired? All right, cool. So then I'm like, what's your number? We FaceTime. He's like, yeah, I fuck with it, da, 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 da. And then one day I text him, I'm like, I still got the messages. I text him, I'm like, um, what I got to do to get you on a song? And he was like, you can get my manager number. I was like, all right, cool, I'll have my manager hit your manager. How much is going to be? He was like, send me the song. And so I sent him the song, and literally he sent it right back. Like, I want to say the name, I want to say the same day, but next day. Wow. And I was like, what the fuck? Bro, listen That's to this That's favor, shit. bro. Like, you know, but it was just awesome. Waking up, I took a picture of my arm, a black screen. I'm like, <laughs> what's up with a feature? Just testing he, my He water. must have been following y'all before. But no, that's the thing. A lot of people was watching. They still yeah. watch. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, y'all dope. So yeah, they watching. That's why I'm trying to be the manager because everybody acting like they don't want to get down no more. I'm for the start. I'm for the sugar ignite this whole damn nah, it's thing. Just, it's you know what well, I said? I'm sugar igniting this thing. I got to get in here and just show them I'm here. You know, and yeah, make some see, people we, do we some features, you. nigga. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> now we see, you know, we got shit up to see. Like I told you, I can't just, I stop letting people in on my good shit. No, you shouldn't. Like, yeah, until you know, until like, you're ready. Hell yeah, yeah. You know so what I'm so, saying? So it's like. Because people try to steal your dream, you know, that, and, or they try to hate on it. So you don't want to give it to I everybody. I to post everything. Do no, you ain't got to tell me that now. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I only post what it, like, I'll post, some, I'll post something and people will text me and be like, you're at the store or like you're there I'd be like Psh, that was five days ago yeah, yeah. you know like, that sounds good to me like I ain't like you I used to post every single day and so at a time like the time 20 was it 20 20 I signed I signed December 2018 I believe yeah December 2018 and so they started that by the end of 2019 I was depressed mm. yeah hell yeah I was like bro I'm how long did you share. go through depression shit my whole life but <laughs> Say hi. No, look, he just laughed it out. Like, ah, but nah. um, well, how? What was the worst case of depression that you had to go through, and how did you overcome it? Um, because a lot of people watching that are still going through depression right now, and you might can be the person shit, that helped them too, out of it. Me too. Like, uh, I just be like, fuck it, I'm alive, I'm breathing. Oh. You can't think about negative. Like I said, live in a moment. You gotta just. Pray for positivity and protect your peace and mm -hmm. protect your surroundings. It's real. And shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's real. It's you really know. just praying. Even if you believe in God or not, you ain't got to believe in God, but you got to believe in the higher you. Right. You know, like, you got to. You got to do you, something. You know, like, right. you got to believe in some sort of power. If you want to be powerful, how the fuck you going to be powerful with no power? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, regardless of what you believe in, it's got to find your power. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I definitely agree with that. You got to figure it out, and you got to find out a way to love you. Yeah, That's I got important. that shit written writ on my mirror. Like when I wake up, it say "Love yourself." I got exactly. other things, but I got "Love yourself." On my yeah. Head. So are you? Um, so I know you say that you go through your depressive moments, but every time I see you online or whatever, <laughs> you looking fly. But I that's why they made social media. Boom. That helps too. 
They made it, it can so hurt our hell, right? If you go back to the back in the day before, you could post videos and all this other crazy shit. People made Facebook and Instagram to post their good times. They're having picnics with their family. They're having fa- they're like you post good times. You don't post bad times on Instagram. When people post bad times, they say you're searching for clout. You don't know? Even worry about it. That was good stuff right there. Uh, <laughs> but, but like they like on Instagram, like when you post bad stuff, they say you're searching for clout. So, ins- but Instagram and well, not even Instagram. Social media is made for positive things. I'm not finna get on there and dread and shit and be like, I'm just sad, cause what the fuck am I sad about? Like, I could be way worse, but I'm not. Like, fuck it. I'm, like I said, I'm here. Yeah. Like, shit get better. Let me ask you this, uh, Fifty Shades, um, Soldier Boy, that's my nigga, man. <laughs> uh, you see us a few times up on that wall. Uh, I used to talk crazy to him because I know already I'm fly. I see him at the convention. He got clothing <laughs> brands. I sell clothes, nigga. This boulevard ain't going to work for me. Why are you over here now with these palm trees? I'm that nigga. Like, I talk to niggas like this all day. Uh, but every time he was having a damn good time, wasn't mm-hmm. he, babe? No. <laughs> so, I mean, how did you guys link? Um, I was in L.A. one time, and there's this girl. She rolled blunts professionally, and we cool with her. She in one of our videos. Wait a actually. minute. She yeah, rolled roll blunts, blunts professionally. professionally. I didn't know you have. We so damn old. I mean, roll like, I mean, just a professional blunt, blunt roller, like just. I mean, like you know, she <laughs> she they pay her to roll the blunts all day. You know, and she professional with it. I wonder how much it costs to. I mean, shit. Uh, they paying good money but, for the but for they the was they was real cool, and uh, <laughs> he was at a hotel one time in L.A. and I was there, and I just introduced myself. We spoke or whatnot, and then when he had his challenge out, the clap 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 challenge, I had did it, and uh, that was the song he had. Yeah, she and he just it. he reposted yeah, that's my boy right it. There. He reposted it, and we just I just followed, bro. Like you know, we was just cool, and then one time. He posted on Instagram, he was like, I ain't doing features with none of you lame ass rappers no more. So I swiped up to the story. I was like, well shit, do a feature with me. And I was like, I ain't one of these lame ass rappers. Like, you know, Soldier Boy, a legend. It. Like, when I was eight years old, the eight year old me could not imagine me having a song with Soldier Boy. You damn know, like, right. You damn you know, right. Like, I'm cranking out. I'm like, now I'm grown. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know? <laughs> but no, so then he literally recorded the song while we was on FaceTime. Wow. And then I flew to LA and I paid the cameraman. Um, got a spot and all that shit. We just shot the video. It was really last minute though, but it was on some cool shit. Is he a guy that you have fun like he looks like he's having yeah, when you work? Yeah, he's, he's really cool. Yeah, he like I done met a lot of niggas, a lot of rappers, a lot of people, and he cool. That's it, man. Like I said, so um, who would you like to work with next? Like who, if you could, if, if it's anybody that you pulled them out of your bag, which one would it be? Anybody? Anybody. anybody little baby. You like Lil Baby? I do like Lil Baby. I want to do a song with Lil Baby. I want to do a song with ESTG. Okay. Yeah. I'm Not saying. Drake. You know, everybody be saying Drake. Yeah, you know, that should be cool. Like, you know, definitely it would be legendary. But on my, like, genre type shit, yeah, nah. Any females? Yeah. Um, I do a song with Mulatto. I fuck with Mulatto. But, like, on another level, I say... um. It's a couple females I fuck with. Um, Summer Walker, I do a song with her. Yeah, I hear her name a lot. Yeah, I do a song with Summer Walker just because, like, she real just her. She don't care about shit, and she big. You know, she got her own shit going on. She don't give a fuck. She real just, fuck it, I'm me. Whatever, you, you gonna get me and take it. You realize how God has really made it to where, even though y'all was with Def Jam, it's like y'all still can peak. Like y'all, uh, y'all, y'all, it didn't do it's, nothing it's to wear. because I left the mark that you can't cover up. You can't Correct. take away. But, you, but I can see you guys it's, scaling it's, higher and higher. Oh, yeah. It's, don't, it's on the way. Saying? And that's the thing. Like, it's niggas out here like, baby face, Ray. This nigga been rapping for years, years, years. Sprouted out out of nowhere. Went crazy. Still going crazy. You know, it's just shit like that. You can't, you can't rush nothing. Like, you can't rush shit. You can't. Compete with nobody but yourself, and you can't question nothing. Yeah, and like I said, I just know that when I look at y'all, and when I look at you, and I, when I look at Lil Brook, it's like they still no, got Big Brook. I'm big sorry, Brooke. y'all niggas tripping. <laughs> I, I gotta get used to that. You know? yeah. <laughs> but when I see, it's like y'all. It, it was a time when did y'all get tired of working together so much? Let's be real. Oh, yeah, yeah we're going to cut this out. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to leave. We're going to let Are it you ride. Gonna cut it? Are you Hell, no. Nah, we're going to let it ride. Get cute with it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I mean, what, nah, I mean, was you, it a time? Are, are, you, like, are you asking that? Because, I am asking. No, I'm, no, I said, are you asking that because you seen a time where we wasn't together? Yes. 
No, that wasn't it. We just, you know, like, she like my family. You know, times shit happen. We just, shit happen. Yeah. You, know? I, I you just, just got to grow. You got to grow up. We kids. We just kids. I was thinking about the label having y'all so knitted together and, and, and that being a part of it, you know? Yeah, that, that that's it. But it's just just life shit, personal shit, growth. Kid, like I said, we was kids. Yeah. We thought we was grown. Like We was just literally laughing about shit the other day. We was I got I sent her a text message and I was like, we thought we was grown four years ago. Look at us now. Like you know, like back then niggas couldn't tell us shit. So it's just like growth. It was shit that she had to learn and I had to learn. And then after we learned shit, you know. She told right me y'all did about four songs down there South by Southwest. Yeah. So how do, how do you just do by? I'm so damn lame. How do you do by so? Is it a studio down there and y'all niggas just locked in? I mean, if you get a studio. I'm just asking how it happened. Like, did y'all do four songs down there? Or y'all just perform four songs? Or did y'all, is this new music? We recorded four new songs. That's what I'm saying. There. Yeah. Y'all just. But South by Southwest, we performed too. I seen that. I, I, I looking it up. I'm like, oh, they down there getting too. I think it was on gutter stuff. I was like, damn, they doing their thing. Yeah, people was. It was they was feeling like, you? We, we, okay, so South by Southwest is old to us. Like, we did that shit years ago. So this year, we're like, fuck it. We still peaking. Whatever, like you said. Like, we, we. We peaked, we poked, we did all that <laughs> shit. You hear me? Like, don't get me wrong, but um, when we was out there every five seconds, niggas like Molly Brook, Molly yeah. Brook, Molly yeah. Brook, and I'm like, I never doubt myself, but it's at the same time, it's like shit. I forgot y'all fucked with me like that. <laughs> <laughs> she wow. It it is good reassurance. Yeah, you know, it's like really I was walking down that strip. One of these girls then dropped a blunt, dropped her phone, dropped to her knees and everything, screaming my name. I'm like, calm down. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, I love you, I love you. I'm that's dope, like, man. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. I'm I'm human, just like you. I fuck up just like you. But it's cool that like you can change people's life, you know? Yeah. And you have to influence on people's life. Yeah, so God. you have to always, you know, make sure you're doing right. I know, I people. pray about that shit every night. What's the biggest thing a fan ever done for you? Was that for me or, or like well for you and to you um well it's the fact that i got i got older fan i don't know if this is what you mean like this oh, okay let me explain it and then mm -hmm. we'll see if you get okay. what i'm saying so i done had older people be be a fan of me walking to walmart i'm like 30 and up like they're like oh my god molly i fuck with you you know like i'm in the club 21 and up a girl crying she like you know like oh my god i can't believe i got to meet you like i really appreciate like you know i'm like damn it's crazy how a 13 year old can fuck with me and a 33 year old can fuck mm -hmm. with me it's like my influence of me being whatever age i am and my influences and my experiences and everything they make you feel a certain way you know like i don't know if that makes sense that's dope. That does but that's sense. it did something to me like if that makes a fan yeah. what a fan did to me mm -hmm. it did something to me i seen you in a uh, little brook or big brook Riding around down in Arkansas about a week or two ago. What the hell was y'all doing down ago, there? What, the <laughs> <laughs> what was y'all doing? Yeah, that's that picture right there in Arkansas. Uh, yeah, but I seen y'all riding. We somebody was in the store. We was get into that bag. Okay. Well, I know. Picture in a video. Yeah. You know. Yeah. How did it come out? How do y'all pick who y'all gonna cool. work with? Like y'all, they if the money right or they got to be some talent there. I mean, like, shit, both, but, like, if you just look, like, treacherous, it's just, like, no, you sound treacherous, it's, like, I'm cool on your money. Yeah, because you know, like, my career means more, And I'm just, more, like, right? whatever, you know, but I'll give you a hard verse. It's cool, because at the end of the day, I'm going to stand on whatever I got to say. Lil Uzi did a song with a snitch. You know, he stood on what he had that's to say. Real. Like, shit, he's still Lil Uzi. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's deep. That's real deep. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. I, 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 so go ahead. Where do you sell, see yourself in about another, say, a year? On tour, on tour, yeah, a tour with, on tour within a year, and uh, just doing shows back to back. Mm hmm. So, what would be your biggest achievement, like that you have done so far, and what would be your biggest goal that you are shooting for? Uh, my biggest achievement is just being able to say that I've done so much at a young age. Like I signed to Def Jam. That's so major. You know, real major. Mm -hmm. That shit's like I couldn't believe it. You know, it's just like growing up. Who the fuck thought that I dropped out? Like, know. you know, my dad was like, "What the fuck? Um, I'm his only child. He went to college. Like, I'm supposed to go to UT too. He graduated from UT in Austin. So I'm like, I'm supposed to go there and you shit." Dropped out of high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
My in senior 11th? year Only because I thought you was in 11th grade Nah 12th grade, 12th grade. Why? I just, you I just almost started, finished I didn't want to Look they wanted to send me To alternative school And I'm like What the fuck No You were fighting a lot Hell no I've never got in trouble In school I went to jail the previous year And so like It's a It's like a rule That if you go to Public jail you, Like You can't go to public school Like you gotta go to The alternative school Oh. And so I'm literally in class, like about to fill out college applications, knowing I don't want to go to college, bro. I don't want to do that shit. Like, I know I want to be some sort of entertainment. Like, I was in theater and psychology, so I was like, fuck it. If I can't act or do some shit, I'm going to help people with their mind because I'm psycho. I'm crazy too, so I want to help somebody. And they called me to the office, they told me that. I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm going to try to be homeschooled. I'm going to try to finish this out just at homeschool. They wanted me to repeat junior year. So I was like, well, I guess I'm done. That's what you told them and you walked out. Well, I, w- I was gone already when they told me to mm-hmm. do alternative school. I had applied for online school. And right. then when, after I applied, they told me I had to ju- do junior, junior year. And I was like, fuck no. And what did your dad say about it? He was just, he didn't really say nothing. Like, he didn't really know what to say. He was mad low key inside, but he knew that I was going to figure some shit out. So. It's it's the great ones that learn early that they got their they yeah, understand like I'm their the vision. only one in my me and my cousins they still like you know but I'm really like the only one who done said fuck what y'all think fuck the rules fuck the order it goes in I don't care what I'm doing me like I'm gonna figure it out I didn't graduate none of that shit like you know like all them went to college all that good shit play sports our teachers or some other shit they from the cliff my daddy's side from the cliff but they good people you know. And just me, I was just complete opposite. I didn't go around my family because of the fact that I dropped out. I didn't want them thinking like, damn, how you raised this? Mm-hmm. You know? So I'm like, in my head, I, I don't care. Like, I'm cool, but I don't want them thinking my dad just was a bad dad and he didn't do his, you know? But mm-hmm. when you got your record deal, did you go around him to be like, hell no, I still want to, that's the thing. That fucked me up because I ain't living in the moment. Like, mm-hmm. I still was like, it ain't big enough. It ain't big it. enough. I need, to, I need to pull up. Like, I need this. Like, y'all think that. I Like, I don't need y'all to think shit. You know, like, my granddad passed away, and I did not go see him because I was like, I got to go, like, bigger and bigger and bigger. Dang. Wow. The ambitious. Did all of that All of that affected you. No, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, but, like, I was like, damn, like, bitch, why you do that? You know? Yeah. So you've learned from that now, or are you still like that? No, like, I live in the moment now. It's like the little shit there. It's not little. So you appreciate everything that goes on with your life? Yeah, like, when I opened up for No Cap the other day, I'm like, I done opened up for Lil Baby, when his, one of his biggest shows. You feel me? And, like, before he became big, big now, like, you know, I'm like, damn, that shit was big. But at the time, I'm like, all right, whatever, what's next? So do you, um when you think about it, um just uh, the things that you've accomplished, man. You send trends for like younger kids, younger girls. That that they're gonna look to you in the future as somebody to look up to, something that they can achieve. Even the ones that didn't finish school. That's yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah. Like with that being said, is I want to start like a cheerleading squad, but I be looking at my videos and shit. I be like, damn, they going The parents might be like, she talk about guns and da, 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 all that other shit, and I be like, shit, gunner, thug, baby. Wayne, everybody, like, they do shit for the community all the time. Like, Megan Thee Stallion, she talk about a whole bunch of crazy shit. She got a key to the city mm-hmm. in Houston. You feel me? Like, just shit like that. So now I'll be like, I could do whatever. You ever but think I, about balancing it, though? Yeah, that's Doing what I'm saying. Both? Yeah, like, now it comes to a point. At, at first, when I started rapping, I didn't think about shit. I was in the hell having fun. I'm rapping, rhyming, saying whatever the fuck I want to say, whatever, cool. Now I come to a point where I'm like, all right, let's create. You know, let's see where we can go. Like, I like making beats with people. I like trying new shit. Like, even if I don't like it, it comes to shit. It comes to points where I be like, "This sound cool, but not for me." You know, I'll come up with a flow for somebody else, or somebody rap it. I be like, "Hey, say this." You know, like or go like this. Just shit like that. At first, music was just fun. <laughs> I, your style changes. Uh, at it's I heard y'all. It, it's like a whisper. I heard some of it, and. Um, it sound good. It's dope. Um, I'm, enchanting sounds like a whisper. Who started this sound first? <laughs> what do you think? I'm, I'm asking. I'm, I'm gonna answer your question. But what do you think? I just want. I know when she didn't rap like that when she went over to Good Ten Seventeen. With that being said, is I ain't never said shit bad about her. We had a conversation. Ain't no problems. It's just the fact that I said, I just want credit. I want respect. It's just a lot of shit that I feel like I did influence. She said she don't feel like she's influenced by my sound. Mm. 
But she, she said that. Yeah. But um, she said she raps slow because she sings low. It's so whatever. But um, like I said, I just know that her sound changed when she went to. Like I just said, um, <laughs> I, just want, I just want some credit, respect. <laughs> you know, I ain't know. Like I said, I ain't never say shit bad about old girl. But we know. You type in my name on Twitter, you type in our names together. You can see who did it first. Not even that. Like that's why I, said, I don't beef with nobody. That, let me let me clear put this shit first. Let me clarify this. <laughs> I don't beef with nobody. I ain't got beef with nobody. Um, I like receipts, I like facts, I like just respect, like I said. Um that's it. Just receipts. I got receipts for whatever. I ain't say shit. But I know what the fuck I did and I know what's going on. You know, my my and sound was influenced know. by Pablo. Okay. Pablo, Gunu, shit like that. Uh Respect. I used to listen to them. Um the song Lil Quell, um, Young Ma, phone book, too many wrecks in my phone book. Uh, at that time I started rapping crazy. That's what influenced my sound, shit like that. So I you know, I could say I could say that. But um me as a female, females wasn't coming like that. They didn't know if that shit was cool or not. I did an interview. Um, and I said, I was just talking about this in the car. I did an interview, and um, in the interview, I was like, that's what stamp make me different because, like, I rap like a nigga. And mm -hmm. they were like, girls was dragging me. They talking about, you need a man's approval to rap. You do this mm. shit for men. Like, you don't have to down another woman to rap. I'm like, I'm not like shit. I, in the club, turn on some Megan Thee Stallion. I'm a twerk. I might not turn it on on a daily basis, but ain't no problem with no other female rappers. Like, you know, shit like that. So it's just, they try to make everything you say. Negative, and yeah. it's just the fact that I'm talking about me and what I do. But with that being said, I got my flow from me. It's influenced by who I said, and whoever come after me is after me. I get it. I get it. Respect. Um, so I be over thinking. You know that girl. I'm coming with it. Okay. Uh, so I mean, I a, go ahead, babe. I'm gonna let you go. I had a question because I see you wear your headpiece all the time, different colors and stuff like that. New well, signature. Well, I mean, I don't be wearing them all the time. It's just the fact that I got curly hair, so sometimes I don't be wanting to do my shit. I just braid it back and throw. Oh, okay. Ski mask. It's on. cute on you. Thanks. I made because you don't see you don't see a lot of people doing that. I mean, nowadays you do. You know they call it the shiesty mask. That's, oh, you know. But I don't see a lot of females doing it. Yeah, it's a couple of us. You know. What new music you got coming? I got a burp. Excuse Give me. it to me. They, they, do, should we look for some big bangers from you and uh, Big Brook? Yeah, we got 762 Freestyle on the way. I got When is it coming? Oh Well on the way. I got Back in Full Effect on the way. If y'all like don't know, one. my first tape I ever dropped was called In Full Effect. So we're going to come back with Back, back in, in Full, full Effect. effect. I like that. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. And so when, it, when, is, when is any of these releasing? Next month. It's going down next month. All of them? Uh, Be okay. ready. Yeah. That's cool. It's coming in hot. And videos? Uh, and videos, yeah. I got a new video. It's crazy because from my tape, I ain't really dropped no videos. Um, but I got a video for it dropping probably in about next Wednesday. Okay. About a week. Week and a couple days. But yeah, I'm going to definitely have videos for the new shit. Me and Brooke already got a video for 762. Dope. Dope. Yeah. Who, who, who do you like to produce your mu music the most? Well, now... Um, I've been working with really out of the country producers. Um, the the one I've been working with most, his name is Sluzzy, um, and he's in Switzerland. Okay. He just produced the that song for Migos. Um, fuck, I can't think right now. But fuck, I'm mad because <laughs> uh, it's gonna cross my head when I get in the car. But no, it's one of their their songs that they just recently dropped that was popping. But I'm. I want to go work with him in Switzerland. I'm gonna fly oh, out there. Oh, it's going down. They can't come out here because of COVID. They gotta right. have like vaccines and shit. But I can go out there. Oh, you can't. Okay. So I'm gonna bring my studio to Switzerland this summer in July, and I'm That'd gonna go be record cool. it. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Hey. So, you never been there before, right? No, nah, I've only I've been to just Mexico, out, like out the country. Yeah. What made you work with him more than anybody else? Well, um, I really don't be working with people who send me shit just because I like in person vibes and shit. But um, I was one day I was in the studio. I had no beats and I was just scrolling down all the way to my beats from 2018 mm -hmm. I'm like I had a beat from Sluzzy I'm like this motherfucker hard right, what the fuck so I found his Instagram and then I locked back in with him and he just been sending me beats and I he'll send me six beats in a pack and I'll do four of them oh okay damn so what about the clothing line is it still popping or you ain't doing that I I got it but um it's just 
at the time, I had so many ideas, so many thoughts, so many things I wanted to come about. So at this time, I'm just doing one step at a time. I got so, I got hella ideas. Me and my homegirl over there, we working on dropping a hat collection. You know, it's, I want to drop it tomorrow, but I'm doing other shit, you know? So it's like... You need a team. You can do everything, of course, but with, how I learn shit is, I want to... Uh, certain goals I want to accomplish First. during the certain... Mm -hmm. Whatever I'm doing. You know, if I have three things going, I have five goals for each thing you know like I gotta accomplish at least five of these goals for this and then I can move on to the next one and be working on both because I've, I've already accomplished half of this task if that makes sense, mm -hmm. you makes sense. do you have a team um me my, nigga I'm here my people, I'm, I'm just like, going you know, in on these folks man what I've gotten to is um I've shortened my circle you know it's real small and um I think about who I bring around to what things and everything so everybody in my life has a position now they all help me do shit you know Mm -hmm. And it's certain people that you see on the scene, certain people you don't see on the scene. You know, team is important. Yeah, it is. I, 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 and know and knowing their strengths crazy. and weaknesses and where they need to be at what time and stuff like that Correct. to yeah. best benefit. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to be a leader and to gotta, see that. You know what I mean? You, you got to know be it. Open. See, as a leader, in my circle is everybody a boss. You feel me? Because you got to do something. You got to do something. We all got to do something different. You got to be a boss in whatever the fuck you do because you here for a reason. You know, like, you're not here just because to be around. You know, like, you're here because you got to do something. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, I, I definitely know that's true because there's so many different ways you got to be able to be responsible for the people that you're trying to lead. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if you're not, then you, you're failing them as well. You know what I mean? Because you're, yeah, you're, 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 you're the one that's I in the I learned that shit yeah. young. Like, like I, I'm 23. I got... I mean, I can't t say what I got, you know, because nobody know, but I know I got hella more shit that's coming my way. Regardless if it comes in the next two days or two years, it's going to be tremendous. Yeah, no, but I like the way that you're, you're, you're doing. I see your brand. I see you posting. I see you working. And that's important. So many people try to come on the show that they don't have nothing really to talk about a lot of time because they're not working. And then it, it's like I failed them, too, when you just put them in situations and they're not even ready for what you're putting them right. in. See, yeah, like for a whole year I was working, but nobody could see me working. So at the time, people talking about, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? And I'm like... Nigga, let me live, bro. I'm 21. Like, fuck, I'm figuring this shit. I just left the major label. Like, I'm just, I'm trying to figure out my circle. Like, niggas like me, niggas don't like me. Like, not niggas like boyfriend. I'm talking well, about I know what you're talking society, about. Society, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, but talking from a fan perspective, when we find somebody that we love their music, and then all of a sudden we know everything that you have, we're looking for you to drop something all the time. Cause we we just like a theme for your new music. We want to hear I it. wish that I could, when you're signed to a label though, it's not on you. You know, like, I was dropping as much as I could in my little YouTube videos, but I couldn't post nothing on Apple Music or, okay. you know, shit like that because I was in contract. So okay. you're independent right now though? Yeah, everything is mine. Dipped in White Publishing, that's me. Like, I got my shit. Like, Are you everything. signing any artists or is it just you right now? Not right now, no. But you but think I later would, on yeah, you will? Yeah, I, I definitely will. After I, like, go on tour and do some shit like that for myself, then I'll bring somebody around. Would you ever sign to a label again? Yeah, if they come with the right bag and they come with the right paperwork. Okay. What um top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any Number genre. One. Lil Wayne. Number one, Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Number two. Um, oh, yeah, Lil man. Wayne was easy. Mm -hmm. Lil Wayne. That's, cause that's if I if oh, I had a bio biography, I want my song to be Mr. Carter. Hey. Ah. But yeah. Um, Number two. Uh, number two, who the fuck do I want to say? Cincy Molly. Hey, number three. <laughs> two and three be tripping out. Oh, that shit crazy. It's a lot of folks. Number like, two and so number three. To, you can change it another right day. I know, but like, all right, fuck. Lil Wayne. Give me ten seconds. You mm, who, who can I say? There's so many people, bro. I can't choose Time it for you. Number two. All right, we're gonna do. Number three, you mean? No, two. She said, she, since they ain't gonna be one, we're not letting them make it. <laughs> All right, it's well, who can I say? I don't know, y'all. Alicia Keys. Okay, that's number two. For number sure, three. Alicia Keys. And, uh, Cause it's any genre. Mm hmm. Any genre. Yeah. Uh, and then. I'm trying to switch it up. 
Um, Katy Perry. Katy Perry, Ooh. that's dope. I like it. That's first Katy Perry mm, for sure. Yeah, I had to like think of three different categories because I can't put them in all the same. Cause it's like I could have said some other shit, but I'm like, no. Lil Wayne, Katy Perry. And Alicia Keys. When you look at this market that we're in, because I know you're pretty much to me, you're you're one that have over exceeded the most by touching other states, other parts of the United States, other countries. But when you look at Dallas and you look at just what's been going on in this market, um, it seems to be a place where things are somewhat quiet to me when it comes to music. Like I said, people. But that's me. Now I'm just that's my opinion. People respect you behind doors. Okay. In public, like. Now I'm talking about the music. I'm talking about the hits, the music. Where is it at? What's popping? Where is it? That's where I'm at. You're saying like, where is it at right now? I'm like, yeah, where we're at in your in your. No, I'm talking about where we at in Dallas. We is not it. There you go. I want to talk about that. I want to know what is it. That's why I'm telling you that. It's because people respect you behind doors. They won't salute you in front of everybody on social media or whatever. When they see you at their show, they see you at, they're like, what up, what up bro? What's, what's up, man? I love you. you. I've been seeing you. Now you, But now they're not you reposting you? Know? you? Yeah, it's like, and that's cool. It's like respect because I ain't finna repost everybody too just because I don't see everybody. But like, I, when I If you I see do something stream, you like? I, yeah. Like, I stream shit though. That's the difference though. Like, I don't know. Or if I see something on the gram that I might fuck with, I'll click it and give it a, you know, a little whatever. Or even if I don't follow you, I'll comment fire marks, you know. I wasn't like that at first just because I was off social media and I was like, my name got a check next to it. I can't be seen just commenting on right. the wrong shit or doing the wrong, like, you know, just because people do too much. They make shit bad and it's not even a bad scenario. But now I'm to a point where, like, if I see some young niggas I fuck with, they making songs, I'm fuck with them. Like, there's this dude named Big YBA. He from, I believe, Carolina. I seen him on Instagram. Fucked with him. I sent him, sent him a verse. I said, send me open. Send him a verse. Say cheese poster. Dope. See, whatever. But. Just by you having that blue check and being who you are, I tell people all the time, just drop something positive on upcoming artists. It motivate them so much. Yeah. You don't know how much, just two little things that you could say. I literally just be telling people, bro, be you. Like, fuck everybody. That's the only thing that you literally can do because that's what people forget is to be them. Be they, them. They, they see so much shit that people win doing. Yeah. So, like, I got to do this to win too because that's what they're doing and they're winning. Wow. No, they forget. Like, nigga, you got your own thing that you was here for. Like, you know, it's, it's something that you ain't figured out yet, but it ain't what the fuck baby doing. Yeah, you know, it ain't what Beyonce doing. It, ain't, right. it ain't what nobody else doing. It's what but, you, you know. can do. Yeah, and it's all about, like I said, timing. Like, God's timing is divine. You can't rush shit. You can go up, you can go down, you can go around. You can't rush shit. You just got to wait. I'm going to say this, man. Do you want to say yeah. something? Because I'm going to shut it How, down here in a minute. If you um, could go back and talk to, say, the, the 12, 17 year old? Mm, no, nah, it's about the 15 year old you. What would you advise you for the journey that you're about to be on? That was before you deal, that was before any of that? I would give myself a hug and I'll be like, just keep being you. Stop thinking about what's going to happen. That's wow. what I say. Dope, dope, dope. Man, um, say, man, we love you. Don't let this be the last time you come on my show, dog. Let me tell you something. Boss talk hot. <laughs> we going to get hotter. I'm going to work harder. I promise. I'm going everywhere, doing everything to make sure since it Molly be back on this show. No, nah, I'm going to come back. I'm fuck <laughs> with y'all. Y'all ain't saying nothing crazy. You know, nah, nah. We, we laid was, back, bro. No, everything was good. I think, like I said, this this platform, we just try, we try to, to help to, people. Yeah, that's, that's really it. what we try to do. Because, you know, you have a lot of young people. That's all they're on all day is YouTube watching videos. So if you can say something positive to help somebody out there. I got a question there. for, I'm sorry, but you got a, I got a question for y'all. Okay. How'd you hear about me? I heard about you because of Water 2 Live. That's my, he, you know, this was the last show. Rest in peace, yeah. He, this was the last show he done. Um, and his mother and father was just on here as, as well. And so when I tapped into that market because of my son and being cousins with little Blake, uh, I started looking at what he looking at. And once I started looking at it, I seen you and little Big Brook. Big Brook. I'm sick of y'all <laughs> niggas, man. Listen, and when I seen y'all, I was, I was totally impressed. And I know that this is the wave we're dealing with. And I knew y'all had to be on the show. So it really was organic because of the way that things happen. 
uh, with him being the last, and that put eyesight on my whole, you know, think about it. It put everything in perspective. Kenny B came, uh, Barrio. Barrio came, YSN Flip came, Ju Lil Ju, all yeah, of them. Yeah, we all used to be around each other. So as I'm looking through that my scope. My dancing years, like that's, I've known them for about five years. But I'm just saying, when I look through that scope, that's how I see I really you. Know. Does that make sense? Yeah, it do. It's, it's organic. It's so I did, it didn't have nothing to do with nobody else. I figured. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, okay, now some blogs be posting me, but like, I know you ain't seen me from no blogs. People don't be seeing me from blogs. Every time I ask people where they see me from, it ain't from no blog mm -hmm. or nothing. It's just like, I just seen your work or I just seen you or, you know, right. some shit like that. That's why I asked. Okay. What about, uh, I got to ask you this since you asked me, how did you end up on a song with that Moolah guy, the guy that came on here? Oh, uh, it was a feature. It was a feature he wanted you to do. Uh -huh. That's dope, man. I mean, like I said, you you you're you're a person that if you're really trying to get something going, then you're the person that uh basically I would be trying to get in get a hold of yeah, too. And you know it's what like, I'm saying? I'm, I'm real genuine, regardless of what, like I'm gonna tell you some life changing shit where, where you're gonna get something out of fucking with me. Like you yeah. know, if if you feel like if anybody got a question fucking with me, don't fuck with me. You know, like, just stay away from me because why are you questioning it? You know, like, everything that I say, everything that I do is going to be beneficial to you in some way. Wow. I see you in Gutter TV and I'm still holding it down, too. Yeah, that's my dog. So, I mean, because as soon as I told him, he's like, is she coming, E? I'm like, really? <laughs> when, nigga? Hell, I've been trying to get him for a minute, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, he, that, ever since I met him, I love the, the I mean, I'm, I'm a real... Believe it or not, I, we street a lot of times, and when you like that, that, that energy just meet, right? And it's like, yeah, this this real right here. Yeah, that's why I came up here. I was like, you know, Brooke fuck with you, gotta fuck with you. I got everybody. I mean, yeah, but you yeah. know, then my then my two like, they fuck with you. I gotta I gotta come see. Yeah, you. Well, I gotta come see what you're talking I about. I should have got gutter sooner. Then. I gotta come see. What you're <laughs> <about>. <laughs> well, y'all dope though, and I love the fact I'm gonna be watching. I'm gonna be posting. We are about to get more. We about to get more and more. You gonna see some things happen. Like you got things about to happen. We got a lot of stuff about to happen. You. Don't and it's, tell, don't tell nobody. It's going down. <laughs> you better keep that. Now, I done told too many people. She told God me to it. shut up. Yeah. My wife's like, dang man, yeah. don't say nothing else. Yeah, yeah no. I'm like, please. <laughs> but no, it's coming for sure. Go and go when now. it do, you gonna be like, damn, them boy. Because I'm not person. I ain't gonna I don't say tell. damn. I'm gonna be like, I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I let my work speak for myself. I don't even. That's what I'm talk. saying. Nigga talking about I fell off. Nigga, I can't fall off. I'm me. What the fuck? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm me. Like, ain't no way. I got so. I'm fifty shades of paid. You hear me? Ain't no way you can fall off. When you come back, you gonna drop. You gonna give me. I, I get 16. bars, right? What you want? You want it? You want it now? It, it gotta be some dope, man. You you gonna do it now? <laughs> <laughs> Next time though, right? You promise? Yeah, I got you. All right, that's all I need to know. And I'm gonna bring. We gonna tie uh, Big be, Brook up. Listen, right? when I do that shit, I be stuttering. Really? No, I don't stutter, but like, I don't know what to call. It. That's why I punch in. You? Oh yeah, yeah. I done had some. I people. mean, I can do it though. Don't I had some people that punch in, and when they got on here and try it, then not, and I didn't even put it out because I'm not doing them like that. Oh, no, yeah, I, I ain't bullshit. Be good. No, I was saying, put this. I ain't bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Did we forget anything? Is it anything major that we should have asked? How can people reach you if they want to reach out to you for a feature? Um, go to my Instagram or Cincy Molly Business at gmail dot com. Okay. Since Instagram is s three n s i dot m o l l y. Dope. No, just, so, are you TikTok? TikTok, yes, I'm the same on TikTok. I got about twenty thousand followers. Let's on go. I be, you know, I be trying to do shit, but TikTok's so weird. You just go viral for being you. Like you know, exactly. just doing some. Mm -hmm. We had some crazy stuff happen the other you can day. You go viral for being you don't cute. Know. Viral for being ugly. Viral for being real. Viral for being fake. Like shit. Just, viral for go. being fat. Like anything, skinny, tall, yeah, like for being crazy, just yeah, eating, anything. Puff, all like, that. People sit down there and just eat. Yeah, like <laughs> you can, it's TikTok just crazy, instant. Yeah, whatever. But Man. I fuck with y'all. You gonna bring the next one out though? Bring what you mean? Social media platform, nigga. Let's get this billion dollar money. Stop playing. <laughs> I ain't got time. But it's, it crazy. would be dope, right? Yeah, that would be dope. But like, nah, I'm going to have my own app for Cincy Molly fans. Hey. Y'all post your own happiness on my, my page. Y'all ain't got to worry about trolls and shit on my shit. You going to hold them, hold them so back. No trolls. Yeah, you start I'm, trolling, you just block them. Yeah, and I can say whatever the fuck, so I'm going to defend y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank it's you so much, app. man. 
Thank of you. Of course, no, y'all we welcome. love you. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. Man, for real, for real, man. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. And we out.